Hello everyone and hope you're all safe, warm, and well. So again, why am I videoing right now? Well, because as I say, we have a trade to announce. <laughs> and I'm not Gary Bettman of the NHL. Boo, Bettman, boo. <laughs> That said, this is something that uh, some people have known is being kind of in the works for probably about the last two plus months uh, because I ended up finding out just as the individual finally came here, he works for the evil brown truck people, UPS, so he's been busy. As soon as he said that, I'm like, okay, shut my mouth about anything to do with the UPS issues that I've had and even Ben has had over the years. <laughs> so that said, so it is a guitar trade. As you can see over here, there is something missing off the rack which to people who usually have a good eye know what's missing off the rack and when I do these trade announcement things I give you know my opinion and my thoughts on what went out for what came in so again as you see over my shoulder the Made in Mexico Stratocaster parts kind of build guitar has gone out the door. Um, the gentleman who came and did the trade is definitely a adv advanced level player than what I am. He's advanced. I would say even probably like a low level professional and for what I traded away he was here basically for a hour and for the most part he was noodling on that guitar for the majority of that hour which you know I will say to certain parties out there that want to crap on me for my uh, guitar modding and so forth. When you have one person that actually picks up what you've worked on, gets it, understands it, vibes with it, you're not that shitty of a builder or upgrader. That said, again, what has gone out has been the, I believe if I understand correctly, it was a 2003 Made in Mexico Stratocaster body that originally when I got it had a classic Vibe 50s neck on it to which I replaced with a refinished and re-tagged uh, Mighty Mike 70s style 22 fret neck, which eventually I turned it into a 21 fret neck. So, other things I also did to that neck when I refinished it was even after the fact, I used actually the oil finish on that neck and I slightly made a slight V down the spine of it. So, it was a modern kind of C shape, but it also had a bit of a slight V along the spine of the neck that fit into your hands. The guy said to me himself, he said, I can't believe how comfortable this neck is. For a modern C, I said, well, it's a modified modern C. So, that said, I did that. Like I said, the body, the pickguard, 
the knobs and the knob tip were original to the um, to the made in Mexico body I had received. Told him again. Tone Emporium Big City Blue 69 Alnico 5 pickups. Um, in it. Five way switch. All hand wired. The Wilkinson with the string compensating bridge. Uh, sorry, string compensating block on the bridge on it and uh, again it was the guitar that I had the Ernie Ball extra extra eight slinkies on uh, again another comment while he was here was he actually said he normally plays tens he could not believe how good the eights felt and I was like wow the funny part was he said he was going to put a set of 10s from Didario on it or whatever. And I was like, hmm. And throughout the amount of time he was playing it, like I said, again, which was, <laughs> I would say probably about 40 plus minutes of the hour, just over an hour he was here. And we were talking about stuff. Uh, he, he said, I was going to take these strings off. He goes, now I actually might leave them on. He goes, I might actually consider him going a lighter gauge on some of my other uh, instruments. So, gave compliments to it. You know, again, even though this will tick off some individual parties, but pat on the back for actually what I did to actually make the guitar be what it is. And again, like I said, in a sense, I didn't want to get rid of the guitar, but as I've discovered over the years, you have to move things out sometimes to make other deals or to acquire other things. Mind you, though, it's not like I still don't have another Stratocaster here. It just doesn't have the same attributes as the one I got rid of, which very possibly later this year I might possibly build something in a similar vibe uh, so basically at the end of the day the deal was simply straight up guitar for guitar so uh, another last thing before I move on to what I brought in Another thing the guy said that he was amazed at was actually how stable the tuning of the guitar was. And again, this is one of those controversies out there that people will say, six screw Stratocaster tremolos are not stable. And it's like, yes, they can go out of tune, but also at the same time, if you set them up right and do all the right things to them, they can be perfectly fine, stably tuned. And the amount of trim that he was doing on it, and heck, even last night in the video I posted up playing said guitar, really didn't put it out of whack. Which is just, you know, illustrates that point. Not to mention there are other manufacturers out there besides Wilkinson uh, that actually can produce more stabilized trim systems for Stratocaster. So now we're all on to the part of what came in. First off, I've said it before. I had one of these before and I actually realized that yes I do enjoy it and uh, the one I had previously had some we will say feel issues so that was kind of one of the big reasons why I got rid of it I just felt it wasn't once playing it, it made me definitely desire and appreciate a better version of the instrument. So, 
With that said, it is again another brand that I already have on the rack over here. So, this isn't a high end model, but it is a entry slash intermediate model. in Ibanez and if you kind of notice the amount of strings there are it is a seven string so what have I brought in I have basically traded the made in Mexico strat that I customized and whatnot for a Ibanez, that's right, seven string with a, this is a DiMarzio strap system on here, which yeah, I wasn't crazy about, but I took it as part of the deal because why not to check it out, but it's pretty cool and interesting locking system, so it's an Ibanez seven string. It is the basically it's the newer low end model, which still goes for 500 plus in a lot of cases. And here's the only kind of thing that I'm not crazy about it, but I will be definitely taking off when I have the chance to. Not a fan of the stickers. Thank God they're only stickers. So, according to the the, the guy I made the deal with, so this is a five-way blade switch, volume and tone, of course. According to what he said, these are supposed to be the DiMarzio Blaze pickups. So, even though the guitar isn't exactly... The guitar itself is $500. The fact that it has $200 pickups in it kind of negates things. I don't know if I could have been really kind of picky and demanded the case with it, but yeah, the case wasn't an issue. But I did take the strap. Though the white one of this would have been nice. So, tried it out. It's 24 fret. The body is kind of reminds me of the um, DX350 body, if, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, that said, here's the thing that I'll say further about this guitar. The thing that instantly made me like it, the neck profile. And this was the one big issue that I had on the Harley Benton neck. The Harley Benton neck was uber, uber thick, like a baseball bat. Like, literally. Like, on this, I can wrap my fingers like this around the neck. On the Harley Benton, when I had my hand on the actual neck... It was pretty much like this. So there was like almost a good one inch of thickness extra. This neck pretty much has the same profile as the S470's neck. So that was instantly right away. I was like, you know, fine. So basically that's it. Um, uh, whatever. I'm trying to remember what the model was of this. Let me... Uh, quickly go back to uh, Kijiji and get the official model so this is a Ibanez RG7321 and also of note it is not the first gen it is a second gen because it has the 
kind of crappy screw down kind of bridge which they say is slightly better than the Gilbertur style that was on them but uh yeah again yeah RG7312 and it is in 2007 and it is a made in Indonesia so that definitely explains this so probably the next time you see me actually demo this guitar this decal will be off this cat decal will be off so with that said thoughts and opinions on the deal that I just did in a trade um, are always welcome uh, again you know I hope you are all well and uh, eight more days till 50 bye for now